Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is James and of course this is Jemu the Creative Show. So guys, eh, today we want to discuss very critical content because uh, it's my fans who, has, who have requested Nasina Budi, I have to do so. So guys, eh, <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking me whether it is possible to predetermine the gender of any child before uh, conception. So it is always very tricky question, but I uh, will try maybe to, to, to talk about it so that maybe we see whether we can be able to assist one or two couples. Maybe for those who have been trying maybe to conceive certain gender, maybe male or female, or an attacker, baby boy, I'm a baby girl. So we want to, uh, to, <coughs> to, uh, to, to, to discuss it. So that maybe I hope it'll be it will be very useful. So basically, before we started, there are some concepts and some basic uh, knowledge you should understand. First, you should understand that uh, in human being we have uh, 23 matched pair of chromosomes, whereby one pair uh, is always sex chromosomes. So for Every male gives XY chromosome, while ladies, that is female, gives XX chromosomes. So, uh, potential egg garment uh, can be either XX for female, while XY for male. So, uh, in sperm, X. Uh, when X uh, meets with uh, X from female, it gives girl. While Y from sperm, when it meets uh, X from ovum, that is from female, it gives baby girl. So, first of all, you should you should understand that male males are always a determinant for for gender of the baby. So, we have some cases whereby we have seen a lot of uh, couples or marriages uh, maybe, maybe having some troubles uh, because of uh, maybe Mzee and Ataka, a certain kind of gender. But uh, you should understand that uh, it's always man who determines the, the gender of uh, baby. So... <clears throat> Chances of having a baby boy or baby girl, we always give it 50-50. It's always probability. Like, you can't be sure of kind of uh, maybe uh, the, 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 that is the gender of the baby you will conceive. So, <clears throat> let, I want you to understand that. How can, now let's get to, how can sex, how can uh, sex be inherited? X chromosome from female passes to another sex chromosome from sperm to give a baby boy. While X from man will pass to another sex, that is X chromosome from female to give baby girl. So <coughs> there, has, there are some theories which has been developed. Uh, maybe to assist, uh, maybe maybe get maybe baby girl or baby boy. So I want us to go through some theories so that uh, maybe we see whether you'll be you'll be taken care of. <coughs> so there is that this uh, theory of ovulation, ovulation theory. So first of all, for any female, you should understand. Do you know? You are ovulation date. Do you know how? Do you know your safe days? Do you know your unsafe days? Do you know? Do you have irregular periods or such kind of things? So first, you should understand your ovulation. So, if you know exactly your ovulation, it is very very okay. It is always uh, much easier for you to maybe to predetermine the gender of your baby. So. I want you to know um, X chromosomes, which gives girl, 
difference between X chromosomes which uh, gives a, a girl and Y chromosomes which gives a boy. So I want, I want you to understand the difference. So first of all, you should understand that X chromosomes is always strong. In a curve for quite some time, while uh, Y chromosomes stays for a short period of time, Y chromosomes is always uh, is always very fast, yeah, and survives less days. While uh, X chromosomes uh, stays for long and uh, like it's slow and stays for a very long time. So once you know your ovulation, <clears throat> it is very possible maybe to track. Maybe if you want, uh, for example, if you maybe you need a baby boy. When once you know when uh, you are ovulating, because we have said that Y chromosomes, uh, which gives boy child, stays for a very short period of time. So you should time while the, your partner is on ovulation. Either one or two days to ovulation. Or maybe after ovulation, you can maybe get baby boy. Or, well, you need a baby girl. Uh, maybe you can have uh, sex, like five days to ovulation. Because X chromosomes stays for long period of time while it is still alive. So that is theory number one. You to understand ovulation calendar. Uh, yeah, theory number two. <laughs> it is very controversial, but uh, maybe it will assist uh, one of you. Sex position. <clears throat> so, it is said that uh, once you, once during the intercourse, once there is deeper penetration, you make Y chromosomes very close to cervix and close to fallopian tubes where fertilization takes place. So, once there is deeper penetration, maybe you can have, there are chances <laughs> you can have the baby boy. So th those are theories. Those are theories which have been developed. So at, maybe you can, you can try and see. <clears throat> theory, number, theory number three and last one, it is said that during the intercourse, if, uh, you are, if the female or a woman reaches orgasm, there are some, <laughs> there are high chances of, uh, <laughs> there are high chances of uh, producing alkaline pH, which gives uh, a good condition for uh, sperm to, to swim through to cervix. So uh, also giving high chances for you to get baby boy. So guys, I think uh, we are almost done, but I want to encourage you. These are just theories. So. Probably you can assist, you can maybe, you can try and see whether it will work to, to you. So guys, can you keep subscribing for a lot more of uh, this kind of topics. So guys, see you in the next video.